Our next comic is one in a million, and by that I mean he comes here once every million years. <laughs> Please give it up for one of my favorites, Richard Thomas. Let's get a very special shout out for all the moms who came out to support the kid that's just in comedy! <laughs> When I was growing up, my mama always let me know exactly where I stood with her. If my mom had, greets me, had ever greeted me warmly like, Hi, Richard! How was your day today? Great, Mom! I love that peanut butter and marshmallow sandwich you packed for, lunch, for me for lunch this today. And I got an anti math test. That's great, Richard! Here's a nice, warm, freshly baked hot slice of apple pie. Thanks, Mom, I love you. I knew that I experienced a disturbingly tranquil, yet warm-heartedly all-American mother and son family moment. <laughs> if my mom ever shouted out to me, Richard, come here, please. I can most certainly expect a conversation like this to soon follow. Richard, how many times have I told you that when you got a room full of dirty clothes, you've got to take them downstairs and put them in the hamper? And why is your room such an ever-loving pigsty? Your father and I worked very hard to, to, to give you and your sister a nice home. The least you can do is show proper respect by keeping your room nice and clean. And at that point, I realized I may have gotten an itty-bitty preview of what it might be like. Many years down the road, should I eventually meet myself a very lucky lady with whom I fall madly in love with and end up happily married to her. And then shortly after the honeymoon, she proceeds to do what a great number of wives end up doing with her husband, which is to nag at them incessantly for being a total fucking slob. <laughs> <laughs> and if my mom ever shouted out my full name, well, I knew the shit had hit the fan while it was moving at full speed, and I didn't have no chance in hell of getting out of its path. <laughs> and I gotta talk about just an inc such an incident. It happened when I was about nine, not nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, bef prior, to prior to this incident, uh, it was a warm, sunny, su sunny um, afternoon, and um, Sitting in the kitchen, my mother and my sister were hanging out, talking, and the bee flies into the, into, into the kitchen. And, uh, you know, my mother, my, mo my mother, they like, grabbed us both in the head, like, put us down, and started shouting out, shout, shouting, shouting that there was a bee in the house, and, and they just watch her swatting it away with that bee with a fly sweater, you know, just with our, with our arthritic hand and all that. And I was like, by golly, I love my mom for rescuing us from that big, bad bee. <laughs> so a couple of weeks later, Sitting in the living room, sitting in the living room with just me and my sister, the warm Saturday morning, watching cartoons because that's what kids do. And a bee flies into this kitchen, flies in the living room, and zooms towards us. And I instinctively go into brotherly protective mode and grab my sister and like put it out. Look out! There's a bee! Oh my god! And then I'm slapping it away, you know, trying to get it out of there. I'm kicking its ass, taking its name, really feeling that rescue the bee. Rescued the bunny young dancer from distress caused by a bee zone, and I was so feeling that heroic role and liking it so much that, well, I didn't even notice that my mom had come into the room until I heard Richard Thomas stand up and come here now. Richard, why did you? Why were you roughhousing with your sister like that? Don't you know that you could have really hurt her? Answer me, Richard. Who taught you how to do stuff like that? And at that point, all I could do is just look at it and go, Z -Z 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 you, Mom. Uh, I learned it by watching you. <laughs> My name is Richard Thomas, and I once again would like to humbly thank everybody for coming out to the show and enjoy the rest of it. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>